News Hub can reveal the number of nights funded for people to stay in mental health and addiction beds is dropping. One treatment centre told News Hub people are dying waiting for a bed. Here's political editor Jenna Lynch again with this exclusive Because It Matters story. Meet Abdullah Abdullah. My name is Abdullah Abdullah and I'm an addict. A recovering addict. In short form, this place has pretty much changed my life. Before ending up here at the retreat, he tells us he was on a circular path in and out of the youth justice system. It's helped me connect back with my family, with the community. It's helped me change the people that I used to hang out with, which pretty much led me to this place. And yeah, pretty much, it's pretty much saved my life. The retreat is run by Janet Thompson. They don't get government funding, not for lack of trying, she says. People ring us up for help and we have to say, look, I'm really, really sorry. Unless you've got the money to pay for it, you, you can't come in to us now. You can apply to these places that are government funded, but you're going to be going on a huge waiting list. News Hub has been provided exclusive numbers for the funding of residential nights for people needing mental health, addiction and substance abuse treatment. What they show is that those bed nights have dramatically fallen over the past five years. In 2017, 128,000 were funded, but over the last year only 88,000 were that's a 31% drop. The health minister says that's because more people are being treated by community programmes that don't require stays in facilities. That's where the big gap has been. Um, people don't need to be tied up in hospital beds for a long time as they uh, go on their journey of recovery, but they do need support in the community and that's where we're seeing the shift. ACT argues for the amount of money the government set aside for mental health, $1.9 billion in the 2019 budget, we should be seeing more people being treated. We need the government to answer where is the money going and why is it so hard for community centres that help our community to get funding. And Janet Thompson says she sees a huge unmet need on the ground. Some people can't wait. People die while they're waiting for a bed. And the statistics show drug use on the rise too. For instance, the most prevalent illicit drug, methamphetamine. Police and ESR wastewater testing shows back at the end of 2019, 8.2 kilograms of methamphetamine was consumed per week nationally. Now, that's around 17 kilograms, more than double. The overwhelming uh, advice we're getting is, um, is for more people to have more care in the community. So that shift is taking place. We will still have a challenge to meet the demand that's on the system. Um, that will continue to be you know, a challenge we'll have for some time. But Abdullah Abdullah says it's programs like the retreat that will have real impact where we need it. Other people in my shoes that that would benefit from this place that I that don't even get help because I've seen a lot of people in youth and in youth jails and juvie that pretty much never ever get the opportunity of coming to a place like this, which I feel I'm, I feel like I'm lucky to get this opportunity, you know. Essential addiction treatment should not come down to luck. Jenna Lynch, News Hub.